okay? And unfortunately, with software, it isn't just looking at a model that you can see with your eyes and say, oh yeah, that's pretty unique. You have to really look at it, and the poor patent clerks are overwhelmed with idiots creating patents for things which are completely obvious. My favorite was, <clears throat> this is a patent on a flat, thin device with rounded corners that somebody would give what to use to read software. You know, that's a tablet, folks. And if you want something with sharp corners that's thick and heavy, well, obviously, this is, this is an innovative topic. So what we have to do is we have to help people by finding prior art. We have to write law, we have to get our legislators to write laws to protect people from this type of abuse, right? So you need to do well, a lot of political stuff. You need to rise up and you need to help people with this. So please join in this Gnome thing of fighting this problem. Um, so I only got like three minutes. Um, so I want to talk about volunteer vertigo and high tech hangover. How many of you all in here volunteer on a 